welcome to Astranti's SES Industry Analysis. Today we will be focusing on Auto Auto who operate in the in-car technology industry. Now before we get into the crux of this document, we have a brief disclaimer. And that is that this document is not going to be fully covered by this video. This video is just to accompany the document. This industry analysis is created to give you that excellent knowledge that the examiner is looking for. They want you to be able to provide logical business advice as if you were an employee working in that industry. This is how you get those extra marks. This document is full of real life industry issues which you will be able to apply in the actual case study exam. That being said, let's move on to the first chapter, which is the history of the industry. The trend in the automobile industry has historically been one of speed. Making the fastest car was the aim of most of the early car manufacturers. Some of the world's most distinguished car manufacturers have built their reputations upon their sports cars. However, this has not always been the case. As we progress through the 20th century, we can see that there is a move towards comfort rather than speed. By 1911, we see the introduction of the electric ignition starter, which meant there was no longer a need for these wind-up springs or gunpowder cylinders or the crank shown in this diagram here. Later on, we see the introduction of the cigarette lighter inside the car, which had nothing to do with speed. This was more of a comfort, a, a commodity. And this trend continues throughout the 1930s and 40s. In the 1930s, car radios moved from the home and into the car. And later in the 1940s, early 1950s, we see the invention of the modern car keys and even power steering, which became commercially available. All of these things serve to make driving less of a sporting hobby and more of a relaxing pastime. As we enter the 1960s, there's more notable technologies which will be more familiar to you. For instance, the electric windows and the intermittent windscreen wipers. As we enter the age of technology, things take a slightly different course. We are now in a period where it seems like driving has become too much effort. We are becoming used to having a computer tell us where to drive, who does the parking for us, and detects our surroundings as well, meaning that we become a passenger in our own cars. All of the things listed down here, for instance the parking sensors, GPS sat-navs and reversing cameras are all becoming parts of the modern day car. So how exactly does this apply to Auto Auto and how can it be used in the exam? Despite Auto Auto only being around for 15 years or so, there is still great potential for them to establish ties with the huge car manufacturers such as Ford, BMW and VW because of the rate at which technology it is, is advancing. The technologies which AA specialises in are hugely popular and sought after and this means that car manufacturers may potentially fight over their, their service. It's also worth mentioning that AA's plans to enter the driverless and autonomous car market is a good move and corresponds with where the industry seems to be heading. In this next section, we will take a look at the competitors to AA as an OEM supplier. On the left hand side, we have the big players in this market, Bosch, Johnson Controls, Continental and Denso. In the next column, we have the relevant sectors in which they have products which could possibly compete with AA. These are the car multimedia, the infotainment systems, 
and the automated safety. In the next column we can see who they supply and you will recognize some of these big players in the car manufacturing industry, your Audis, BMWs and Fords. It is worth noting that the car manufacturers will buy products from a number of different suppliers in order to produce each of their vehicles. Further down here I found a few notable products which show and highlight how much technology is improving and how vital it is when, ma when marketing new models of car. There does certainly seem to be a correlation between how much technology is in the car and how desirable it is. The table here reaffirms what I said earlier and that is that car manufacturers will use multiple suppliers to produce their cars. Further down we see a list of competitors to AA's future products, the driverless systems and autonomous vehicles. By now I'm sure you would have all heard of the likes of Tesla who are paving the way in this market. What is important to take away from this is that it's not only car manufacturers such as Volvo and Audi who are competing here. It also includes huge technology brands such as Google and Apple. They are forming these billion dollar alliances in order to beat each other to the finished product. We will now skip some of these more generic sections to get to the part where we discuss how this all applies to AA. In terms of products, AA does seem to be keeping up with similar OEM suppliers. Honda and Ford are just two companies who already utilize very similar products in many of their different models. Cruise Master and Park Space are two products that AA has the potential of making huge sales with. Car companies are adding features like these as the standard to many of their cars. AA should be looking for a similar agreement. In terms of new AA products, however, the future might not be so bright. The competitors are global brands which have teamed up with software companies in order to utilize their resources and technologies better. It will be very hard for AA to compete with these companies when Nvidia, Delphi, Mobileye are all planning to release similar technologies within the next two years. This is in regards to their driverless system. The likes of Tesla and Google will be introducing autonomous vehicles a couple of years after this. Now let's turn our attention to customers and shareholders. Astranti case study courses include a wide variety of learning materials that have been expertly crafted to ensure that you have the best possible opportunity of passing your exams. The study text comes in two parts. The first covers every aspect of the exam from every possible angle and teaches you exactly how you can prepare for it. We go into great depth on the pre-scene analysis, how to manage your time and precisely what the exam will involve. The second part is a condensed, manageable textbook covering all the key theories and models you must know in order to pass the exam. We also provide course videos in which SEMA tutor and case study exam expert Nick Best gives you advice and tips on all the key areas of the exam using his many years of experience to give you precise instructions on what you need to do to pass this paper. The pre-scene analysis is a paragraph by paragraph video guide to the pre-scene picking up all the key issues from examining how they relate to the company in question and what you need to do with that information. Accompanying the pre-scene analysis is the industry analysis which compares the fictional company to a similar real-life organization giving you all the necessary information regarding the industry ensuring you meet the expectations of the examiner. The industry analysis also includes both a written document and a three-part video series. 
By joining our case study course, you will have access to five full mock exams, which will be marked by a qualified and experienced team of markers. We pride ourselves in providing industry-leading levels of feedback on your mock exams using our unique marking checklist. You will see each mock exam marked on the same checklist so you can compare each mock and see in which areas you continue to fall behind, enabling you to clarify where and how you need to improve. Our masterclasses are live, all-day exam-focused events that are hosted online and are recorded for students that cannot attend live. Masterclass 1 focuses on the keys to passing the case study exam and takes you through topics such as what the examiner says you must do to pass, skills of effective planning and the 10 models most likely to be examined on the current pre-scene. Masterclass 2 is the revision masterclass and focuses on subjects like what the examiner is saying are students key mistakes identifying your key areas for improvement to score more marks on the exam day, and much more. If you complete the full course and still don't pass the real exam, you can continue with us onto the next course at no additional charge. We're very confident that people who complete the whole course will pass, but as long as you continue to complete subsequent courses, you can also continue at no additional charge ensuring this is the last fee you'll ever have to pay for passing your exam.